We got a new question on the TechSmith Certification Slack group. It was actually a response to my poll question, what features do Camtasia or Snagit lack that you really wish they had? Chris writes, unless I missed the memo, I'd love auto transcripts for Camtasia or even Snagit, something like you can enable when hosting a Zoom sesh. And good news, you did kind of miss the memo. Uh, it's a pretty well-hidden feature, so I can't blame you for not knowing it was there, but as it happens, you can, in fact, transcribe your Camtasia Project's audio narration directly within Camtasia. At least, you can if you're on Windows. Of course, both platforms can leverage TechSmith Audiate, which ought to be your first choice if you do a lot of recordings on the fly, and want to apply AI transcription to each and every project. It's clearly superior to the solution I'm talking about today. But Camtasia for Windows users have a built-in solution in the form of speech-to-text. The engine that powers this transcription isn't really a Camtasia feature per se. It's a Windows feature, but Camtasia has the power to leverage it. So, I've got this project open. It's one of the more recent tutorials I did for the Slack group. Let's assume that I was improvising my narration and therefore have no script that I was working from. But I do have this glorious audio narration, and we can use this. Just head over to the captions, click the little gear icon here at the top, and choose speech to text. There's a brief process where it prepares the text and then actually transcribes it. You're watching this in real time, so considering the fact that this is almost a six minute video, the transcription is crazy fast. And here's the result. There's no punctuation, but the words are mostly right. And what's more, these lines are already synced up to your narration as captions, so there's no additional syncing required. Now, it's just a matter of going through these captions and making corrections. Of course, it's obviously not perfect. But you can increase your odds of an accurate transcription by doing two things. First, you can train Windows to better recognize your voice. Go here to your Start menu and start typing Speech Recognition, and click to bring up its control panel. From there, choose Train Your Computer to Better Understand You. You'll then be tasked with reading a lengthy text while Windows learns how you pronounce your words. The process takes about five minutes or so. You can do multiple rounds of training. On this particular machine, I've only done one thus far. Once you're through with that, go and temporarily start speech recognition, because this is how we'll get to the second way of improving your result, which is adding words to the custom dictionary. If this is your first time doing speech recognition on your machine, it'll probably ask you to select your microphone type and maybe another question or two but you'll end up with this little toolbar. Once you have it, right-click it and choose Open the Speech Dictionary. This is where you'll add custom words related to your organization and video topics. If I click here on Change Existing Words, you can see that I've already added a few related to screencasting. Camtasia, Snagit, Screencast, etc. Audiate isn't in this list, so let's add it. We'll back up and choose Add a New Word. So I type it and click Next. It's a product name, so I'll always want it capitalized. And I want to model its pronunciation as well. So I turn on Speech Recognition, say Audiate, and we're set. This is especially good for proper names that you know won't appear in its common dictionary of terms. 
But I also find that if you have a common word that Windows is always transcribing badly, it helps to add it to this list as well. You can close out speech recognition when you're done. The tool itself doesn't have to be running for Camtasia to make use of its engine. At any rate, once you've cleaned them up a bit, these captions are ready for use. For direct YouTube export, the captions will be included automatically. But you can also export the SRT file and upload to any other video hosting service that accepts them. Just head back to the Captions gear icon, and this time choose Export Captions. Give it a name and choose a location, and you're all set. Oh, and by the way, I decided to use this method to create closed captioning for the very tutorial you're watching right now. I thought it would be a good exercise. And just for fun, I also timed exactly how long it took to create, clean up, and export these captions. Boom. From beginning to end, this is how long it took me. Way, way faster than typing and syncing them by hand. One more quick thing before we leave off. In his post, Chris specifically said transcriptions, not captions. I assume he meant the latter, but just in case, let's go over outputting just the text. Back up here in the gear icon menu, choose Sync Captions, and start at beginning. That's all we need, so we'll click Stop, and now the captions are all in one pane again. You can select them all, copy, and then paste into Word or whatever other application floats your boat. You should be all set now. If you dug this, pretty please give us a like or a subscribe. It truly does help promote us. And if you want to really ramp up your screencasting, don't forget to get your Camtasia certifications, which are free to all holders of a Camtasia maintenance agreement. See you soon.